Hi Cyber Angels and new uh, viewers Welcome to Charlie's Angel Tarot and I'm Shah uh, from the channel and I do readings and this week I'm using the Transparent Tarot by Emily Carding as well the second edition and I hope you will enjoy them this week it's going to be a different spread it's going to look like um, a film and if you um, would like to have an extensive reading then you find all the information below in the description box where you can find my website or the email etc etc um, I did have a lot of re positive reactions with this uh, deck it's a beautiful deck and um, I'm going to show you a different way of reading the cards in a different kind of spread um, and I hope you will enjoy it as much as last week okay please subscribe and hit the bell on all then you'll be notified I've put a video out there um, on how to set uh, it in the settings um, because you have to not only do it on YouTube but you have to give YouTube permission um, to notify you so have a look at the video if you are not sure on what I mean um, you can do it on I've done it on the laptop and I've also done it on a mobile device okay so I hope that will help you get notified on your favorite channels all right let's get started let's go over to the reading take care and enjoy hi Libra this is your reading and I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome back if you're a cyber angel and welcome if you're new there's a special offer up till the 13th of September 30 minutes reading for 35 euros so grab your chance perhaps you might want to buy a Christmas present already and um, give it to a friend or a family member for a reading so grab your chance and they can book it later <coughs> I'll give you a code no problem and now we are in the reading and we have the transparent tarot as you can see last week they were lying next to each other now they are lying on top of each other like a film so I'm going to make a little film uh, a slide <laughs> okay don't worry you have all the days there but it can be any of the days in this reading because the energy is overflowing in each other this is m makes it clearer to the querent or the viewer first of all we start off with the nine of swords there you go you can see somebody's got his hands against his head oh my goodness what am I going to do I've got sleepless nights I'm so tired and everything is going round and round in their head there is an end coming to this as a nine is an ending and the, where there is an ending there is a new beginning I'm just drinking something sorry and the second card is the high priestess and here you've got the Torah or the, yeah the Torah the book of wisdom the book of all the answers between the two worlds because she can travel between the two worlds you don't see the two pillars here but we know that she has two pillars behind her so that is number 11 to me so the angels are showing um, a breakthrough an archway a doorway to step through to a new beginning like I said where there is an ending there is a new beginning but the priestess plays the cards close to her chest she doesn't tell anybody anything oh because she knows all the answers of course so play your cards close to your chest don't be an open book to everybody wait until the time is right okay now the moon has also got the dark side so you might need more information with regards to something but mainly she's the good she represents the moon goddess so there could be a Pisces in your or around you around your vicinity or um, within the family or friends circle 
or you might be meeting up with a new Pisces if you're not hooked up. You might even get a new friend that's a Pisces, a very intuitive person, a very sensitive person, especially a full moon or uh, the new moon or the new moon. This could also be you, that you're more sensitive when it's new moon or full moon, because that is when the energies change. And like I said, she represents the moon goddess, so there is also a warning here. Be careful. Listen to your intuition. Listen to new ideas or listen to your dreams. They hold information which carry you forward as you have the chariot. The chariot also represents Cancer, so you might be meeting another water sign, Cancer. You've got the chariot, so you've got victory. You are going towards victory if you keep things secret, playing your cards close to your chest. You are going forwards and upwards. You might even get a promotion. You might be traveling, uh, traveling. This could be on holiday or for work. You could also be moving home. This doesn't only have to be home. If you have your own business, you might be moving your business, perhaps to smaller uh, premises, as the time is uh, quite poor because of the COVID, and that could be bringing you worries about rent. Actually, it might be an option to buy. So have a look what your options are by uh, seeking uh, advice. Although you don't have the advice card here, but to advance you need to know what you're doing and what's the best decision for you. So then I say seek advice from a professional person. That will advance you forwards and upwards. Now we're going to the second layer and you have the Empress. The Empress has got a new flower. She also represents fertility, so the time is fertile to do something. Okay, now this is what I'm, where I'm starting to build, and I'm not laying them on top of each other, I'm laying them uh, over each other. So this card is lying over the middle card, joining the whole three cards together. Here you can see in the beginning you are worried but the new beginning is coming towards you the ground is fertile to change you know that since it could be since the new moon that your um, that the time has come in that fertility is here you might even find out that you're pregnant or that you're becoming a father if you don't want to become pregnant or become a father then take precautions the Empress is called also represents Mother Earth, but also Libra. So there could be a Pisces here, a Cancer, or a Libra. We're going into the Libra time, so this could be the Moon going into Libra. And I, I don't know whether we're going into uh, the Moon of Pisces or the Moon of Libra. But uh, um, I haven't done the energy of Libra yet, as this is a, um, sorry, uh, I haven't done the energy of Libra yet, because I have to do that yet. I first have to finish off my weeklies, and there's lots happening behind the scene. So there's new things happening. So have a look at the introduction video, because I've explained what's happening in the autumn. And of course, that special offer that is going on now. Okay, so let's get back to this. Where there is a new begin, there is a new beginning, and there's something you've sown seeds in the past, and you were worried that they weren't going to uh, be fertilized and uh, going to grow. But that's starting to grow. The new beginning is here. Let me just put it on the line so that it looks like a film. You followed the instructions on. You followed the instructions, and it is sprouting and it's growing. And you might be going outside more often to enjoy the quietness and the the space and 
in the peace. So that is why you have come to an end of a phase and a new beginning. You have sown the seeds and you are waiting for them to uh, grow and so that you can harvest. Now this card that I've got here is the Ace of Wands and we're going to place it right on top of these two cards. So all the cards are connected. Right? So you could say the first two, three cards are Monday, Wednesday and Friday and these two cards are the weekend. But I rather see it as an overall energy and see it as a film. The Ace of Wands is a new beginning, a new passion. This could be with the Libra, this could be with the Pisces or the Cancer or in, uh, a Libra. So I'll repeat that. Libra is the Empress, the High Priestess is the Pisces and the Chariot is Cancer. But it could also be with any fire sign as you have the Ace of Fire, a new beginning, new passion, perhaps a new hobby, a new job, a new business. Like I said, you might be downsizing for the moment um, your business to save money. That is your new beginning. And you might find out that you might have a new sideline or an, in business to make things more attractive and appealing to new customers. You could be meeting an Aries, Leo or a Sagittarius if this is not got to do with business or work. So you might be getting a new job or your hobby might be changing into a work, a career. That could be what you have wanted and you were worried that it wasn't going to happen. Well, it is because you planted the seeds. The nage. Then the next card is the Wheel of Fortune. Look at that. And that's, you can kind of take it as the result card or the overall energy. As this card closes the reading. You've got the Wheel of Fortune. Look. Wow. So it should be a little bit more level. Of course, the moon has to go into the circle. There you go. And that's how it should be. But it's a bit skew with, because they're very slippery. There you go. You've come full circle. Like I said, with the Nine of Swords, don't worry. Don't have sleepless nights. Put your problems beside your clothes. When you take your clothes off, put your problems next to your clothes, clothes and give it to the divine or the angels. They will take care of it and that is what they are showing with this reading. So you have listened to your intuition or seek more uh, information or advice from one of these characters that is around you. and you've come full circle you are back in the lights okay now you could be meeting anybody with the wheel of fortune that could be an air sign um, an earth sign a fire sign or a water sign okay you see how slippery they are you might be going on holiday as I said earlier because of the chariot and the Wheel of Fortune is also going on holiday or moving home. You might go up to the next level. This could be in business, this could be in a relationship, this could be in a business relationship. You might have just been the sleeping partner but now you're becoming the real partner, equality. But you have both got different talents and you're bringing them to one. Okay, one might be more mental and the other one more practical. So you are going to find the balance here and you're going to join forces and you're going to take action and make the business grow or you have 
found somebody that will ground you and be and you might be too much up in your mind so you are balancing each other and that's why you are going onwards as one on to the next level you might be moving in with somebody or you might be buying a house together awesome Perhaps that's why you were having sleepless nights, because somebody might have made that, planted that suggestion if it wasn't you, and or perhaps you've planted that suggestion, and um, you've been worried what the answer would be. Well, I think it's going to happen if that is your choice. You could be going on holiday as well, okay? And this is also the karma card. If you've done good. You know, you will get it back threefold. If you've done bad, you'll get it back threefold. If anybody else has done you wrong, they'll get burned. Look, it's just lying there right in front of you. They'll get burned threefold. Okay? If they've done you good, they will get good back threefold too. Action has started. The process is going and is coming to a beautiful victory for you this week whatever you've been worried about don't worry play your cards close to your chest because victory is yours you've taken the action you've done the work you've got recognition wow okay Libra you have is the perhaps the first time in a long time that you haven't progressed uh, progressed procrested by making decisions wisdom you've used your brain well done time to take time out to relax and rest move on moving on relax uh, relax and rest holiday enjoy exploring a wonderful new chapters yes the wheel of fortune is an end of a phase a new beginning okay and the empress is also a new face but learn from the past and nurture what you have sown like the empress it, she nurtures the seeds that she has sown until they're fully fledged and so she can harvest there you go so take time out that's the card from Anne Ellis Tarot and I'll leave her link for her YouTube channel beneath and go and have a look. You can also see the review on both these decks in the playlists under reviews. Within the next few weeks you will see the results. Libra, I hope you have enjoyed this reading and I wish you a beautiful week ahead, charge forward, get into action and stay level because you are in balance. Love it, great news for you. Don't worry so much. And if you are worried, give it to the divine and the angels and they will clear the air for you. Stay blessed and please share and like. Thank you. Thank you.